My team doesn't know what to play. Okay, I will play. Yo, <laughs> yo. Let's weave a battle plan. I well, they may have gone first blood, but I got a kill. I'm happy. I must. I am compelled. Okay, like this. Yes. Well, a sick pushback, or I would have gone stunned. I like how random people in pub games itemize better on Centaur than uh, pro games that I uh, commentate. I was watching, uh, or I was casting recently, and uh, repeatedly, over and over, I kept seeing the same guy go for Bracer first item on offlane Centaur. I cannot express how much I disagree with that as an item build. It's just so fucking shit. It's like time-traveled item build from a time when it was good. Except it isn't. Yeah. Just TP, just TP. That's on my curve. People are always like, you want anything from base? Me, <laughs> I'm like 1v2 laning. Trying to see us desperately, trying not to fucking die. Yo, you want anything? I'm going down to fucking Dairy Queen. You want to pick up something? <laughs> Dude. Maybe I'm just bad and I should just get yes. good, but... Yes. A little something extra. For the ever. Uh, I cannot kill that for you. He's a fucking fast lion though. Windlace. Boots Windlace. You gotta be kidding me. How did I take aggro from the tower there? Yes. You're doing very well. I'm very proud of you. Oh shit. Okay. Okay, they reached me. Golden 
Alright. That's very good. Let's just go Maelstrom uh, right away now. Gotta take over the game before uh, Meeple can do too much this game. Okay, let's go join our team. Stun me, stun me. <laughs> the prophecy of the Mega Meeple. The rumors are true. Yeah, fighting into the Mega Meeple, not that easy. So, tanky at first. It's kind of annoying because the item I need against their supports is the opposite of what I need against the Meeple. I want the Lincolns because of the Bane and the Lion, but at the same time, Lincolns doesn't help me at all against the Meeple. I think I just got itemized against Meepo, he's the strong player on their team. I'm actually gonna go for this first. Hello, damage and farm. Um, actually, I will take this. Love it when my axe cuts the creep wave from me instead of tanking the tower. Priorities. Link is still good on Weaver. Yes, it's still good on Weaver. <clears throat> gives you good survivability, gives you good sustainability. It's just a nice item. Fucking stunned over here, man. Whew. 
Uh, Wiseling is good here, then we have eight spells to trigger it. Yes, we have spells that trigger it. Slinkus is not merely an item that is good or bad based on how many abilities the enemy have that trigger it. That is one component to whether or not Lincoln's is good. To understand whether or not Lincoln's is a good item, you need to understand the the entirety of the situation. Like, everything that you get from it, everything that you um, trade for it, and what hero you are, and how it implicates your, you know, um, overall item progression when you go for it. There's a lot to say about it. Why is Lincoln's good here? Because I need the sustainability that it provides, because it's amazing against the Bane and the Lion, and while yes, you're absolutely right that there are many abilities that can trigger it, those abilities also don't want to not connect. Um, you know, it's possible to break Lincoln's, yes, but that also gives me that little bit of panic reaction where I can maybe get my ulti out. Uh, so while it's certainly true that possibly... Um, Possibly just casting uh, a spell and then casting another spell. You can get through the Lincolns and deal with it that way. But I think if you find that to be a disincentive big enough for you to not want to buy the item, you are not focusing enough on that the item is not only a fighting item. It doesn't only contribute to that. The sustainability from it is a very big part. The stats from it is also a very big part. 16 to all stats is very nice for survivability for a hero. And for a hero like Weaver who cares a lot about having more mana from that intelligence as well, it is not to be underestimated. Good fight still, take it, take it. OD, OD, OD. You fucked up. For uh, I have Scotty, the next item here. Oh well, I found Meepo. That's unlucky for Meepo. Unlucky for Lion, too. Oh, he was not looking at his hero at all. Hello. Well, that's unlucky for their whole fucking team. That's we found Nico. Stay. Yeah. 
Yes. It's not time yet. Out of time's weave. Swarm them. Bitter pattern. We have a shard is so quality of life. How many loads do I need? Uh zero I guess, but I'm just collecting them for funsies. And grip. Wow. Okay. That's a good grip from the low ground. Mm, yeah, this fight is mis misconnections overall. <laughs> the shard did do a lot of work for him. Yeah, there's the annoying part about being a field script. With a meepo jumping me, that's uh, terrible, terrible damage. Mindbreaker? Mindbreaker with uh, Geminate Talent. No bane. I think it's easy fight if they don't have supports. We should stick around. Yeah. They respawn. Hmm. That's hard for me to go in. Hmm. Yeah, the line coming back is rough. I need to swap this or uh, have this available so I can swap it in. Yeah, yeah I'm coming first. You can go top and try and kill him. He's gonna be alone top. The respawn's here. Centaur's close, but we can kill. Oh, Centaur got them both. I was hoping you would jump on me with Centaur and I could BKB it. I guess that's what my supports were hoping for as well. Should have been ready to spam Yules him or whatever when he jumps in. I kind of want a Bloodthorn, but Bloodthorn can be dispelled as well with Disperser. It used to be a great Meepo counter and not so much anymore because of the Disperser, I guess. I guess our best solution is probably just Titanic and just keep fighting. So boots and a rapier. It's a terrible rapier game. Sadly. The enemy have fantastic abilities to uh, get a rapier out of my inventory and into their inventory. You have stuff like Fiend Script, Hex and you know... Amazing chain stuns, which is usually the biggest yes. drawback for a rapier build.
Nope. No, you don't. But Satanic is incredibly good. It's either buy Rapier and play like a pussy, or buy Satanic and play like a Giga Chad, you know? If you buy Rapier and play like a Giga Chad, you just get gone on and then you die. It's not very fun. It's a pretty bad item here. base catch coming and damage oh my god he's actually making it to his friends in no fucking way I'm using BKB. Uh, his team could be around the corner there, and uh, Lion Stun is not gonna stop us from getting this kill. Ow! Can't go in so deep. Oh, uh, what are you missing for buyback? Oh, okay. A buyback, basically. Oh, dear lord. My pango. How are you that fucking low on gold and playing like that? Tough luck. I mean, I do have buyback, but coming into their base is tough. Odi, Odi, Odi. Uh, all buybacks. Get out if you don't have buyback. I have, I have. That's fine. Just get out. Mm. Can we save him? Glimmer and then get back. You're glimmered. No detection. No blink. Why you stay? Uh, crazy Rubik. You have Giga cast range. You have Etherland's Rubik Glimmer Cape. You Glimmer Cape from like fucking two countries away and then you blink back. Don't stay. Mm. Bit more uncomfortable now. That was 
me so fast. Use the uh, disperser. Make him run fast. I hate that you can't buy a moon shard with quick buy. We had pretty good late game heroes, to be fair. Like, our heroes just scale really well into late game. I guess they're scaled decently, but there comes a point where it's not so fun to be Meepo in late game. Like, the hero is strong, but there comes a point where people have too many kite items and things to deal with them. You know, the axe. Pleasure as always. GG's, dude. GG's, man. Well played, sir. Well played. <laughs>